So let's see what they've done to your breast tissue. Okay, so the blood vessels are dilated. That in and of itself indicates tissue injury and damage. Look how peely your skin is. Now, does it peel like this normally, or were you in? No, it's always been a little bit chafy. Chafy. Yeah. Yeah, so that's an indication of underlying pressure, tension, generalized tissue trauma, right? We do know we need to take the implants out. We do know we need to do a lifting procedure, which means reduce the areola, reduce a lot of the breast envelope, and lift you up. But we do know that doing that in one stage is extraordinarily risky to your breast tissue and to your nipple. But you might be able to do something that I've only done once or twice in my entire career. I'm ready. Putting a needle into the breast implants and sucking out the fluid. Allowing the soft tissue to retract and everything to sort of relax down. And then, after a period of time, doing one operation. That sounds a little crazy. Stabbing yeah. breast implants to empty the fluid. Yes, it does. Ruptured implants tend to cause shrinking and thickening of the breast tissue. And that's exactly what Alana's breasts need before she can have the definitive surgery. It isn't actually necessarily that crazy because it saves you from having to have two operations or more, which would avoid all the risks of anesthesia and the significant risks of the surgery itself. Are we in? Let's do it. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Subscribe to the E! YouTube channel and check out the Botch playlist for more plastic surgery transformations. No need to make an appointment.